Good morning, afternoon or evening, wherever you may be in this wonderful world. I'm in Stratford-upon-Avon, just spent the night in a lovely travel lodge hotel. I'm going to be spending the next three days at the Adventure Bike Show with my sponsors, Biker Heads, promoting the photo biker workshops. So, the Thunderbird is sitting there, surrounded by a couple of adventure bikes, because, hey, that's what it's all about. It's a bit grey, hopefully the weather will perk up just a little bit. And hopefully we'll get some nice shots at the show because events like this, they're great places for photographers, whether you're a biker or not. There should be loads of stuff going on. And that is what I hope to achieve. So, see you at the show. No, it's running like a dog. Got here though. Yeah, there's a load of crap I think in the in the I've got to clean the carbs and the tank out. Hey ho. Where have you come from? Bista. Bista. Yeah. Gotcha. So here we are, and as you can see, continuous stream of motorcycles arriving, it's kind of exciting. Look at all that camping going on behind me. God, I'm not camping, I hate camping. Unless I've got to, I'd much rather just sleep under the stars. The rather amazing Ragley Hall. So, I hope I'm going in the right direction. Now what I've got to do is find Chris and the bike ahead stand. Then, we're going to have a look around, see what's going on. I think this is going to be one fun weekend. So we've been here for four days on the Biker Head stand. It's been a brilliant show. And I want to introduce you to <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chris Lippett, who is marketing manager of Biker Heads. Do you remember someone who flounced through some curtains? I certainly do. He is our cameraman today. What about these shows? Well, look, even if you're not into motorbikes, and if you are, you should be here. Even if you're not, places like this are just teeming with photo opportunities. So why don't we go for a little walk around and just see what we can find. It's very early in the morning. The show hasn't really got busy yet. Why are we doing it very early in the morning? Because the sun, which is up there, look at that, is quite low in the sky. It's the middle of the year. The light's gonna be a bit more interesting and I like taking pictures with the sun in. Let's go and find a few. Okay, I'm gonna do a lens change. Figure out what we want. Are you recording? Yeah. This is behind the scenes stuff. This is what goes on that you guys don't get to see. Test shots, figuring out what works, what doesn't work. And this is stuff you can do yourselves. Try it with this lens, try it with that lens. Then you can figure out what you think you should do. Bike show, loads of bikes waiting for riders to test ride them. This is really cool. 
Right now, there's a bit of cloud in the sky and the light isn't great, but there's a blue hole which is going to happen in a minute. Look at those clouds up there. The wide angle lens is picking it up. The bikes are really, really dark. But when that sun comes out, they'll be backlit and I think it will look good. So let's use the time while we wait for the light to find a good position. I think over here a bit, maybe looking across the top of this one, that is quite nice. I'm going a bit lower so I can get a bit more of the sky in. What sort of an exposure will we want? What sort of a depth of field will we want? Here's the light. Quick, wait, light waits for no man. I'm on F8. Let's see, oh, I love this. Can I, oh, look, you look great standing there with a the crash helmet. I don't like you on the foot. Ah, uh, you're in a YouTube video now. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Manchester. You're from Manchester yeah. and you're test riding one of these? Yeah, I'd like pictures though. I haven't got time to take pictures. Oh, mate, well, Come over to the bike ahead stand. Uh, no, I'm, I'm working here. I'm oh, are really, you? Um, I'm an outrider, so I take everyone out. Oh, you're one of the outriders. Yeah. I'm going to say, like I say, if you want some pictures, come and find us at bike aheads. Come and talk to me okay. a bit later on. Next to Ducati. Great, thank you. Come and see us. Isn't that cool? But look how nice that looks yeah. now yeah. with yeah. that light, which has just yeah. disappeared. These are the frustrations of photography. Let's just change that shutter speed a bit. And let's find our exposure. It's going to be tricky. I'm going to argue with a light meter. I'm going about a stop above what it wants. But now we've lost that bit of light. Look how dark it's gone to get the sky. But that earlier shot, which I took very quickly, just before talking to this nice lady, I really like that. I know there's that bright burnt area in the sky, but hey, when you look at a cloud with the sun behind it, it burns to your eyes. Why F8? Simply because I was working fast, F8 means I haven't got to worry too much about where to focus because I've got a wide angle lens on. But look, isn't that a cool shot? And Lady Luck plays a part. This nice lady came along. Let's go and find another one. Now that's a lovely shape, isn't it? And we've got a great moody sky going on up here. So we've got flags with Triumph. We've got all sorts of cool stuff, which really says there's a festival, something's happening. Now the light's going in and out, but it's just coming into a blue hole. How would we compose this? I would suggest the wide angle lens again. Now, then get down low. Let's get some sky in. Let's get those lovely shapes on the bike. Look, that is really quite nice, isn't it? Yes, I know, again, the sky is a little bit burnt out. Find the place I want the handlebars. Here we go. Something like that, I think, is really quite nice. Now, as we play with the exposure, if I make it darker, we've got a bit more sky. My histogram says the shadows are blocking a little bit, but I think it will be OK. I love that sky. Let's take it and see what happens. And, of course... The sun's going in and out, so you've got to go fast. Depth of field, don't have to worry about it too much. I'm on a thousandth of a second. I think there's enough light hitting the bike. That is just perfect. The sun's just got behind a cloud. I'm focusing on the exhaust of this Rocket 3. I've set the exposure plus one over what the light meter wants. Because it's seeing all that brightness in the sky, we want to bring it down a bit. But look, here's the cool thing. I did this as a test shot yesterday on my phone. You can do this with any camera. Here's the phone shot. Here's the one I have just taken on my mirrorless. This is the really cool thing. Go out, get out and about. Go and find interesting things to photograph. Let's go and find another one. Look, look at all these bikes coming down here, either to leave or go ride the test track. I'm using a widish aperture, that's quite nice, and I'm using burst mode so we can try and catch the perfect moment. Sometimes, if you're lucky, you'll get someone give you one of those. No, I'm trying, sometimes you get somebody ride past and go, yeah, as they come through, but not always. You've got to be patient, enjoy doing the photography and watching what's going on. What I like here is the fact there's all those tents at the back there, they're rather nice. And the long lens, oh look, we've got a real great line of bikes now. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. 
that's quite nice look at that it's a real thick load of bikes let's take that focal length in a bit longer now sometimes things work like that one it just didn't that's why you have to be patient you won't necessarily get the perfect shot all in one go I love this guy standing up. Look at this, the guy with the stripy shirt. He's a character, he's standing out amongst the others a little more, which I think looks really good. Don't think you're gonna just go click and get it in one go. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. Shorten that lens, oh, look at that light coming up. I think it's gonna be a bit bright now, it is. Take the exposure back down again. Oh look, another stripy shirt, love a stripy shirt. There's a few nice ones in there. Let's give it a go with a wide angle lens because it will look completely different. Wide angle lens on, low down. We've got a wonderful sky and shit loads of bikes. And I think it's great. I'm shooting on burst mode, hoping some of these guys will get real close. Some do, some don't. And then you've got to wait for the big ugly silver truck. If you own a big ugly silver truck, I do apologize. I'm sure yours is lovely. Here comes some more bikes heading this way behind the lovely little Volkswagen. I didn't really mean it was lovely, I was being sarcastic. <laughs> Here we go, more bikes. Now I'm using burst mode, I'm framing quite high because I want to get the distortion, I want to get all these clouds, that's cool. That's cool. Give us one of these boys. Awesome. Don't be afraid to interact with people. I'm sort of trying to induce them to give us a cool thing. Give us one of those. Always try stuff out. We just move to the other side of the road. Why? We're now going against the light. We've got that wonderful sky and we've got more of the festival going on behind. <laughs> look, doesn't that look cool? I quite like this flag and the sun. Look at that, looking up at that angle as the bikes come past the flag with that awesome sky. Oh, that's cool. Did you see how the light has just been caught in between the rider, the handlebars, and it's a dramatic shot. Shooting against the light works really, really well. Let's move back a little bit, and then we can get the whole of that flag in. Let's go this way a bit. Chris, keep rolling. Let's just wander backwards, because I want to get this flag in. Keep going that way, my old mate. And then I find the place, it's about here, that's better. Now we've got the flag in shot. I'm sorry I'm not putting video through here, but when things happen for real, you don't have time. And now we haven't got any bikes. Back in a moment. Bikes. Let's try this one. Where am I focusing? In the middle of the road. I'm trying to catch that moment as the bikes come past the flag. Might even try doing it the other way. So the flag is behind the bike. That's quite cool. We've only got one more. Let's see what they look like. Yeah, I think, yeah, there's one or two really cool shots in there. I like them. They're dramatic. The low angle, the wide angle lens is dramatic. And that is why it works so well. Never be afraid to try stuff out. So I hope I've given you a few ideas as to what you can do. Come to a bike festival, go to a car rally, go wherever you find something interesting because there are always pictures to take. You can do it with your phone, you can do it with your camera. If you found this video interesting, please like, share and subscribe because it will help me make more. But also think about how you use your camera. If you love photography, you love going out exploring, I've got seven completely free photography lessons just for you. If you click the link in the top right of your screen right now, you will discover all the little secrets to using one of these things effortlessly and easily. And those seven free lessons are valuable in and of themselves. Go and check it out. Anyway, it's been a pleasure talking to you. And I look forward to seeing you next time.